Hello everyone. I'm trying something a little different with filming this time, but we'll see how that turns out. Uh, anyway, I'm doing question number 10 in uh, the book of questions. Uh, and this one is relatively straightforward, uh, or it would seem to be on the surface at least. Uh, it goes, if your heart were damaged beyond repair, but you could regain your health for a few more years by getting a heart transplant from a genetically engineered pig, would you? Well, on the surface, the answer seems pretty obvious. Yes, I would uh, take the heart transplant from a genetically engineered pig to extend my life. And that's, that's assuming that, as I say, that I would regain my health. Now, the health aspect of things, that's an important consideration. Would this be my health as in kind of like I am now where I don't have uh, uh, un unexpected pain from, very, from, say, a heart defect and, and so on? And I could go out and uh, jog if I wanted to or climb mountains or whatever. Uh, modulo any anti-rejection drugs or so on that would come with a transplant. If that's the, what they mean by health, and I'm going to assume it is, then yes, the transplant's basically a no-brainer. But if it's not a uh, good life as a result, it becomes a little more questionable. Uh, certainly, uh, I would not want to die. Uh, that's going to be a major uh, consideration at any point. I don't want to die, after all. So I would probably take a, a, a fair amount of bad with the survival to survive. I've not been in that situation, so I don't know for sure. I don't know if I would take the uh, road out where I would choose death over suffering. I've never been to the suffering to the point where I would make that choice. Um, now, there is an ethical question here, and that is the genetically engineered pig. Is it ethical to take a heart from a genetically engineered animal and stuff it in your own body so you can live? Well, that's that question. That depends on your perspective. After all, we grow pigs and cows and so on just so we can slaughter them and eat them anyway. So I don't see that this is necessarily any significant difference. Now, some people might go, oh my God, genetically engineered. We're, we're going to create the apocalypse because the genetically engineered pigs are going to rise up against us. But no, that's not going to happen either. So really, uh, I don't think there's any substantial risk side to this, assuming the medical science of it has been settled out and it has a very good chance of working. And uh, from what I know, uh, this sort of thing does actually have some potential validity. Uh, so uh, would I accept the, the transplant to live a few more years? Almost certainly. Uh, it's just that survival instinct. Uh, would I have qualms about it? Probably not. I, I eat pork. I don't have qualms about that. So why well, would have qualms about uh, taking a heart from a genetically engineered pig? Anyway, that's really all there is to say on this. So I'll leave off here. If you liked the video or you didn't leave a like or a dislike, then I have some idea whether you liked it or didn't like it. If you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.